This information is a new 30 pound robot that I built in two weeks to take to the Norwalk event in Connecticut. Um, it's been a fun build, difficult process and all of that. It started out as a solid block of UHMW that I machined into the frame that you see. And uh, this is gonna outline that journey. It was, uh, it was frustrating, but it was fun. For my design in this robot, I needed a block of plastic that was 16 inches by 18 inches. Um, unfortunately, unless I called somebody to specify exactly that, what I could order online was in one foot square section. So I ended up ordering a two by two piece of uh, UHMW that was three and a half inches thick. So the original block of plastic for this started out as 70 pounds. Uh, here you can see the frame of the previous 30 pounder that I built, uh, Sterling Green, sitting on top of the block. And you kind of get an idea of how much I need to cut out of this block of plastic to get it down to a size I can work with. So the first order of business was trying to cut this block down into the size that I needed. And that turned into a little more of an issue than I thought it would because it was too big to fit on my bandsaw. So looking through what I had in the garage, about the only thing that I had that could make this cut was a sawzall. So uh, this was uh, very frustrating, but we did manage to get it cut. I had to make one long cut down the side and then cut, uh, make a shorter cut, uh, secondary cut. And you can see here the three pieces cut set up. Um, next step in the process was to square up the edges because the sawzall cuts very roughly and aggressively. And so we got this bolted up on the mill to try to square off the edges to get it to where it is a square 16 by 18 block. And at this point in time, you can see the weight on this. We've cut the weight in half. It is now 35 pounds. So started out with a 70 pound block. Now we're down to 35 pounds. Next in this process is starting to pocket out the internal pocket of the robot where all the drive motors and battery and all the rest of that is going to sit. And this was really still too large of a piece of material to adequately cut on my CNC machine. So I had to do it in multiple pieces. Another thing is it's just plastic, so it cuts relatively easy, but UHMW is naturally kind of slippery. It's really hard to work hold so that it doesn't move while you're machining it. So although you would think I could take a big aggressive cut on the material to pocket out the areas I needed, the truth is I had to go kind of slowly just to keep the material from moving on the table. So here you can see us slowly going through the process of cutting out the pocket on the material. The amount of shavings created in doing this is just amazing. I actually filled up my dumpster, my <laughs> Filled up my uh, vacuum cleaner completely. So I uh, um, turned a lot of plastic into just <laughs> plastic shavings. All right, so once the pocket was finally completed, now we're down quite a bit in weight. And as you can see here, it's just over 20 pounds with that pocket cut. So we started out at 70, now we're down to 20. Uh, the next part is going to be cutting out the support where the weapon is going to mount. Okay, and that's a pretty large, thick block of plastic. So once we made that cut, we're down under 14 pounds. So things are moving along fairly quickly here. Um, there was an area on the back of the robot that I cut at an angle so that it would not be able to stand up on the rear of the robot. And that was also a fairly thick piece of plastic. And once that last bit of cutting across the back was done, we were down, down under 12 pounds. But 
but 12 pounds is going to be too heavy. And so um, I went ahead and thinned the sections that support the weapon. And it did some thinning down the sides. And at this point in time, we ended up just over eight pounds. And this may be good. So we have to kind of start weighing things to see how close we are. So eight pounds sounds good, but we were still too heavy to make the 30 pound category. And so I decided to further thin the sides of the robot down Try to get it a little lower. Now we're down seven pounds, 11 ounces. And so this was where I tried to assemble it to see how everything would go together. Unfortunately, throwing everything together and throwing on the scale, I was still about a half a pound heavy. So the decision was made to thin the bottom of the robot. Now, the bottom of the robot is a half inch thick like the sides were. And although I wanted that extra strength, I eventually decided to just thin that down to three eighths of an inch. And that brought us to our final weight, which you get to see now. So with all the machining to get it ready for combat, what did I end up with? Remember, started out as 70 pounds. So now all said and done and under seven pounds okay so that is a lot of plastic shavings but i was real happy with the way it turned out uh, i'm 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 convinced in the smaller categories this is a great building strategy is to build it out of a solid block of uhmw and i'll uh, i'll probably continue to use this going forward it's been a lot of fun um, if you like any of what we're doing on the channel, you know, please go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll, uh, we'll show some more stuff down the road.